Welcome to the Tom Green Super Bowl show. These two people right here are our analysts for this show. Cole Martins, our NFL analyst, and somehow Adam Dustin decided to walk into this one. Hey! Welcome him back! You gotta give me a break, man. I'm the best in the game. You call me out personally, and you lose. <laughs> hey, dude, yeah, my schedule's been all jacked up, but I'm good. I'm good, and it's good to be back. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, sir. Did a little Harbaugh Schwartz thing right there, you know what I mean? <laughs> cool. Good, they said you're back on the show once again. Oh, so. Cole's like, I'm on this show with two crazy people. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I, I get crazy at points, don't worry. I'm, I'm you'll I'm you'll see crazy. later on, don't worry. Sweet. I got some plans to figure out. Sweet. Sweet, sounds good. By the way, I miss Jim Schwartz. Did you guys oh, talk oh, about I'm that yet? Did you guys talk about um, Jim Schwartz? We, Cole and I have, and I remember talking about that with my cousins, who I will say it right now, if you watch the Wild Card Show, my cousins were on that, and they don't know anything about football. <laughs> I, I glorified them as analysts, but they don't know Jack about football. I've been a Schwartz fan since day one. I still think Lions fans forget what it was like before he got here, and I'm getting a first down was like pulling teeth. And for anybody who thinks that anybody's, anybody's better than Jim Schwartz, Caldwell has been a head coach 11 different times. Seven of the 11 seasons, he won three games or fewer. So I'm just saying... He took over the Colts, and every single year they got worse. Just saying. I hope I'm rooting for the guy. Yeah, but you got to look at it, though. The one season yeah. you did do bad was because Peyton was hurt, and you had a nobody at quarterback. And they had nothing on the team besides that. So Exactly. I'm one of the years, but they still kept going. I don't know. I, I feel like he's could be helpful for the team. I, didn't, I do agree. Schwartz was, I thought, was a pretty good coach. I didn't say he was anything yeah. wrong with him. I mean, he was better than anything we've had in the past 20 years, if you like. There we go. That's <laughs> yeah. Really yeah. I mean, he, he, he's better, but I feel like Codwell is doing something. He's bringing in some good people. I mean, he's got, uh, is it uh, Joe Lombardi? Yeah, Joe, Joe Lombardi, Lombardi, who, the uh, Saints quarterback coach, who's helped Drew Brees become an even better quarterback than when he was. When it, at the Saints, now he's here to help, hopefully, help Stafford become an elite quarterback, finally. Hopefully, after. they straighten Stafford's. But, yeah, yeah, that's that's one mean His thing. His personality. Right? That's yeah. one key thing. He right, did cool. regress last year, but I will agree that if he regresses again this year, it's on oh, him. Yeah, it's not. on him. It's more on him. Than, that's the when coaches. the Lions need to draft a quarterback, I feel like. Another mm. one. I feel like it should be a quarterback this year late in the draft and see if they can get something out of that just to scare him a little bit. I think yeah. if uh, you only win one of the first three games, you tank the rest of the season next year and maybe draft a guy like James Winston. Oh, boy. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's possible. You, you might go to the draft, but you never know, though. Uh, Mm -hmm. Fish and strong arm, we'll see. But anyway. So anyway, um... Well! <laughs> Sorry, I've been out of the loop, so I'm uh, excited. So yeah, Adam uh, hasn't been here in over a month, and I was hoping that we could get an NHL and an EPL show going, but since it's on mine and I only have about half an hour to film the high def, we're just going to go with Super Bowl today, and we'll do that sometime might as in well. the weeks coming. Don't you know want to take Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... One more thing, and then we're going to have another... How about we have a second segment where we feature just a Super Bowl. Let's let's go ahead and talk about the Pro Bowl. Why not? I've, I've DVR'd a little bit of it. I've watched, like, the first quarter, but I know the result. I believe Team Rice won more by yeah, one great, point great ending Team that, Sanders. Yeah. But uh, how do we like it? I thought it was I thought it was the best Pro Bowl I've ever watched, to actually tell the truth. It got a lot more exciting than previous years, which previous years we watched it, it was... Just complete bull crap where they didn't even try and it was just touchdown after touchdown and this year though it was very exciting I thought the players were trying this year and uh, it was on money was on the line the winner got paid I think it was seven like sixty thousand dollars and other the losers got paid like thirty so either way you're getting paid for the right. trade down there but they didn't and I think the coolest thing about the Pro Bowl was actually the teammates hitting each other. Yeah. That was the best part. You you've seen uh, I think it was Johnson and Charles. Yeah, I saw Johnson that unloaded on Charles and he just had a concussion a month ago in that Colts game. <laughs> and he just destroyed him. Then uh I believe it was was it not little, uh who was the Browns wide receiver that was in the Pro Bowl? Josh uh, Gordon. Gordon, yes, Gordon got nailed by his uh uh cornerback and he went 
did a complete flip and landed on his back. They, I mean, their friends like still after. Simpson. Pretty much, he landed though. He was close to landing. <laughs> I'm gonna give him that, but. It was exciting. I thought it was exciting that at the end of the game, it came down to 40 seconds left, and uh, the racist team scored, and they won for two points at the end, which even made it even better, and they did convert, and that's what got them the win in that one. How many Lions made it to the Pro Bowl? One. One? Sue. Sue. Really? Sue. Okay. And he was part of the, I think he was part of Team Rice, if I'm correct. Yeah. Um, the, I mean, he had a deadly deal at the line. He had, oh, I think it was Wad and, no, it was Wad. I can't remember. Something who, like that. I don't know. I can't remember who's on whose team right now. He was now. drafted first, though. Yeah, he was the first so, pick in the entire, well, oh, third pick, technically, besides yeah. the captains. But I, th I thought it was pretty good, though. I was completely happy with everything the Pro Bowl did. And I think if they can keep it like this, I think it could get better and better each year. I might even watch it next year. It sounded like it was exciting this year. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how much football. Uh, NFL Adam Dustin watches. <laughs> uh, you know, I pay attention to the NFL. I do. I mean, the Pro Bowl, I just... I didn't even... Honestly, I forgot it was even on. <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't blame you, though. I, I you know you... Oh, you had the Grammys on all that last night, too, and... Then I you, was working. You know, I worked at 4 a.m. this morning, so oh, okay, I was... That's, okay, that's a good excuse. But. I took a nap, and then I woke up and watched Sherlock till 11.30. Went to sleep for, like, three and a half hours. Got up and went to work, so... I didn't even realize it was on. I forgot completely. Yeah, well, after the last previous years, I don't blame people for not knowing it was on, because if, yeah. if you've seen the last few years where you see two guys just driving each other and got a random guy just dropping down without mm -hmm. being touched, uh, I don't blame you, but... It got better this year. It got a lot better this year. Goodell's happy with it, and he's not now. He ain't gonna cancel. He was planning on canceling it. They didn't try it this year. Yeah. So I'm glad everything's working out now. Maybe maybe more players are playing the Pro Bowl now. Now they're offering money to the winners and all yeah, that. So no we'll see how that goes next year. Well, yeah. they have so much money to throw around. It's yeah. like Scrooge McDuck. They're swimming around in their big tower of money. It's like might as well pay him <laughs> if it gets them to be more entertaining. Who cares? Well, like, the, the, inter the interesting thing about that is that they didn't pay for them to go there. They had to pay themselves to go there. It's pretty much their own vacation they're paying for. Yeah. So I think that's quite interesting. So pretty much, yeah. and they're, I was listening to ESPN on the way here the, on my radio. They're talking about actually just giving the winners money. The losers get squat. So pretty much they pay themselves to go down there. And that's pretty much their vacation. It's a good incentive yeah. to win. It's like, hey, yeah. guys. Yeah, and then they all make you guys work harder for starters. Yeah, I thought that would have been a very interesting point, actually, to put into mm -hmm. the Pro Bowl. So we'll see what they do about that, and probably the offseason they'll probably have a talk about that and other stuff. But uh, again, it was it was good to me. I'm happy with what the NFL did, and I hope they keep on uh, improving on the Pro Bowl and making it better and better each year. Because mm -hmm. the Pro Bowl, it's it's just like any other All Star game. I mean, I I don't mind sitting down watching the All Star game. Now the NBA is different, but still, All Star games are All Star games. But except for the NHL skills competition, but that's for another video. <laughs> Isn't the NA, they're not having an All Star game, are they? Nope. No, they, no, not this the year. Olympics, the Olympics. Olympics are blocking it off. They should still have an All Star break. But anyway, segment two, the real Super Bowl show, is next.